beautiful canyon lake. Look how blue that water is. As you can see over here, this is a good view of um, the hill country, Texas hill country. And this is not the most prominent, um, the place in hill country where you'll see the most prominent hills. Um, really, that is found uh, further west, um, maybe like two, two and a half hours west of San Antonio uh, and Austin. But as far as within the immediate vicinity or the close vicinity of San Antonio, these are some of the most prominent hills nearby. Immediately west of Austin, you find some pretty good hills too. Canyon Lake, I'd say it's a little bit closer to San Antonio than it is to Austin. But I mean, just check this out guys this is why I wanted to bring you guys out here I mean let's check it out if there's uh, a lot of wind noise obviously I'm at uh, an elevated spot right now that's open so there's gonna be a lot of wind but uh, let's check out that hill country guys that's Texas hill country just a small snippet of it um, myself being from Florida you know, we have nothing like this I know if you're from further out west you know the mountain states um, you know, this is puny, but, uh, you know, everything's relative. Uh, there's some guy going down there on the rocks. I'm fairly certain that's, uh, something you're not supposed to do. I can just imagine some, if you were to trip, he'd get pretty messed up, but, you know, what can you do? you guys how beautiful this is and um, in fact the water is uh, very low right now and uh, that's unfortunate apparently it's it's been the lowest it's been in a long long time but uh, it just this week it's been raining a lot actually but you know, barely makes a dent. They need a lot more. You can actually see, you can see where the water line is down there. You can see the difference in colors of the down there.
Yeah, you can also on the rocks way on the, on the other side over there, you can see the water on it. Bueno, papá. Hola, papá. Sí. Bien, ¿te puedo marcar en como 10, 15 minutos? Ok, sí, en 15 minutos te llamamos. Gracias. Adiós. I get a call from the dad um, while I'm recording. Had to answer, make sure it's not an emergency. But um, yeah, you can see there's a there's actually quite a bit of development along the the shore. dream, right? Lake Health. Up on a hill. And I'm a little turned around, but you, the direction I'm looking over there, the hills you can see on the horizon, basically cross over those hills and you're basically in New Braunfels, Texas. New Braunfels is a really cool, really cool small city. It's not even a town at this point. I'd say it's a small city. It's a suburb of San Antonio, but uh, I think it's gonna be, you know, its own thing soon enough. I believe it's the fastest growing city in in uh, Texas, faster than you know, big cities like Austin and San Antonio. And I'm not positive, but I, and you probably won't be able to see it unless you zoom in. But I think way over there on the top of one of those hills is um, a Ukrainian flag. And for those that don't know, this part of Texas, uh, the New Braunfels area, area surrounding uh, San Antonio, not San Antonio itself obviously, but the little towns surrounding San Antonio, uh, like Bernie, New Braunfels, well, a lot of just the towns in Texas Hill Country were settled uh, by German immigrants. And so you'll see a lot of uh, uh, just German influenced businesses, restaurants, you know, breweries, all sorts of things, places to stay. And, you know, obviously San Antonio is a very uh, Mexican-influenced city with a very strong uh, Mexican culture and uh, historical Mexican community and Hispanic community that obviously goes back to the day, the date of San Antonio's establishment. And myself being, uh, I'm basically half Mexican, half German, German-American. Um, this area is very, it feels like home <laughs> in a lot of ways. So if you look out in the middle of the lake, guys, it's an island. And I don't think that's normally like that. I think it has to do with the water being low.
closer you can see where the water line has been and that's that's very low um, that's very disconcerting and you know I, by no means an expert I, I, I don't know what can be done to alleviate the situation so let's wait for terrain This area is a little deceiving because so the San Antonio area actually has uh, pretty bad drought conditions currently. But you know, if you look around here, everything's green. You know, it's not a desert by any means. So it's a little unexpected. But over here on the right, down there, you can see the river kind of see there how it feeds into the lake and, um, or vice versa I guess so Yeah, and even on this, I don't even know what to call this bridge thing. Look at the lines on the pillars, on the support pillar things. You can see where the water has been at times, and that's, wow. When I had first gone here uh, about a week ago, I went into a liquor store, and uh, I was talking to the the local owner and he was telling me about how bad uh, the water levels are now but I did not expect them to be that bad that is wow so there's the river look how clear the water is I mean it's you can see people down there a lot of people fishing, probably not swimming right now, it's chilly. But during the summers, when it gets extremely hot in this part of Texas, you can imagine how this area with the rivers and the lakes would be so popular. And anyone who tells you that Texas is flat is, uh, well, you know, is only telling half the truth. Because Texas is so big, of course, half of it or more than half of it is very flat, especially the eastern half. But, you know, in central Texas, yeah, the hill country. Like I said, if you go even west of here, I think near towns like, uh, I believe it's in Vanderpool, uh, the Twisted Sisters Road, which is very popular for bikers. Um, 
you have some very very prominent hills beautiful terrain um, it's just there aren't any major cities out there so a lot of people don't think of that part of Texas when they think of Texas and then on the other hand um, Texas has actual mountains it has several they're just all in the western part of the state Guadalupe Mountains, Big Bend National Park, and I think some Franklin Mountains out by El Paso. These are all real mountains. Um, they're nothing like the Another thing too is you know about Texas is it really is such a large state, um, especially east to west, um, that you expands the gamut of um, environment. And the eastern half, you know, especially Houston, for example, which I've spent the most time in, in Houston more times than I can, can count over the years. I spent time with family. Houston is like, feels like Louisiana. You know, Beaumont, Texas, those areas um, are swampy, humid, um, you know, near the Gulf, flat, um, that sort of thing. And then, Far West Texas, you know, like El Paso, is a uh, straight up desert. It looks like Southern New Mexico. And then this part, Texas Hill Country, which is kind of like central part of Texas. Right now we're like in South Central. To me, reminds me, makes me think of the beginning of the West. You're really starting to get a little bit more arid, rocky, uh, you know, a little bit more elevation, uh, variation, and uh, I find it very beautiful. And just look at that water, folks. And yes, you can 100% legally hop in there and swim. And you can 100% legally put a boat in there, a jet ski, and have fun. There's a couple of public docks. Thank you. 
Coming from Florida, this is just when I say coming from Florida, that's because where I've that's where I've spent the vast majority of my life. I definitely consider myself a Florida native. And I can tell you a lot about Florida, especially Central Florida. Uh, I know it like the back of my hand, so to speak. But this is completely different than what I've spent most of my life in. I hope everyone, one of the purposes of this video um, is to kind of dispel some myths. Look at that beautiful cactus. But to, to dispel some myths around um, what Texas is. <laughs> wow, little dogs are quite obnoxious. I say so myself. 